poet, editor, and translator Ravi Shankar here, thinking about how the more things change, the more they stay the same. And in a linguistic context, I'm thinking of the anagram, how you can rearrange the letters of a word to create a new word. And I'm thinking about how historically we shuffle some of the same behaviors and attitudes into new institutions, and yet the old legacy still persists. I'm thinking particularly about the black codes and the convict leasing system that existed in the post-reconstructionist South after the Civil War that had arbitrary laws like vagrancy laws or the apprenticeship laws where if you didn't have a license to practice a trade, you could get picked up and fined. And if you were unable to pay that fine, then you would be uh, put in chains and taken back into the plantation you came from as an indentured servant the same place where you had once been a slave. And the arbitrariness of those measures um, of our democracy is meant to support equal justice for all is manifest many years later, in fact, in our very moment with the stop and frisk policies that were deemed unconstitutional. NYPD officers stopped hundreds of thousands of people of color on a wide variety of reasons. And I've seen the checklist that they use can be anything from furtive movements to the name of this poem that I'm gonna share with you, a suspicious bulge. And there's a little epigraph from US District Judge Shira Schindlin that says, according to their own explanations, no, this is their own number that they give us, their own explanations for their actions, the NYPD officers conducted at least 170,000 unlawful stops between 2004 and 2009 the suspicious bulge. It was a plush bear, a ruddy pear stuck in my satchel. It was my bad diet of lager and lollipops. It was oolong teas imported from the eclectic East, according to the bright label tops. It was a can of spam a black man eats when being falsely accused of rape because his hoodie has been tied by state's witness to a nearby spot. It was a suede sofa cushion seat. It was a care package I planned to post. It was a bonsai tree I needed to pair later. It was a book on how to reap serenity. Officer, no need to edit. Why the fuck did I have to stop? Thank you. God bless. You can follow me on the socials at Imperpler. Go out there and vote. This truly is a moment of reckoning. We have it within our power to turn this republic into the uh, bastion of equal justice and rights that we wish and hope for it to be. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Ravi Shankar, peace out.